using uh, ArcGIS. So the first step is uh, to insert row uh, digital elevation model. The next one is to mask uh, this row DM with a steady area. And the third step is to fill this mask data and check for the uh, available of uh, sinks. So those sinks must be filled. So the third step uh, includes filling those uh, sinks is necessary here. So the other step is we need to do a flow direction. Then after uh, performing flow direction, we need to do the step five, do a flow accumulation. So then uh, we need to also prepare uh, this point data in order to perform the final step of this delineation so these are the steps throughout this video uh, this is so simple how uh, we can uh, do watershed delineation so open colors i'll show you uh, the study area for point that is the out the final outlet of the watershed as you can see as uh, this is uh, our uh, river small river which is a river this is a river and uh, this one is the uh, watershed outlet and uh, the, this one is uh, the final uh, outlet should be this one so based on this outlet we need to uh, delete the watershed so this is Google's image as you can see this is the uh, outlet so this is outlet outlet which is uh, deviated uh, due to uh, precision error so we need to trans we'll transfer this outlet system to the main or center line of this river so uh, this is uh, our outlet so we need to uh, move this outlet location to this one by measuring the distance so distance here uh, can be measured in such a way click on the outlet deviated outlet so it is around 46 uh, meet, uh, 40, 46 meter actually ground length is 46 uh, meters so we need to uh, just adjust this uh, outlet location the other one uh, open our crop so we need to uh, insert the raw digital elevation model so Open also the outlet. So before that, I need to connect uh, the folder. The river need to connect this folder. Okay. So we need to open this outlet file, ship file. Okay. So we need to mask, prepare mask data. So. Uh, We can zoom so the black one has reverse so is doing this we need to prepare a mask by drawing a polygon so I need to uh, do this polygon so I think this is enough so this is mask so I need to convert this into a shape file so in order to convert this one right click click and click that is so convert this graphics to features as it means in the shape file actually this is not a shape file so axi river so mask mask shape file so okay save you so finally okay yeah now click on here click here now delete this one this is the shape file Right, so I need to extract this uh, by mask. So special analysis tool. So here extraction here by mask. I need to extract this uh, digital wash model. So so the steady area digital wash model can be prepared by extracting by mask. So uh, location I need to choose uh, locations for storage of this file. So there. Row them so okay. 
So routing openings give it a name here. Routing which need to be a field. Save here. Okay. So I don't need also this mask because I have already used to extract the steady area digital elevation model. So I need to remove this one. So this is my steady area digital elevation model. So uh, the next one is after just mask, uh, masking as a steady area, I need to uh, fill this mask digital elevation model. So uh, here, hydrology go here, hydrology here. Yeah, we need to fill this row digital elevation model. Those uh, sinks, uh, sinks are uh, filled with uh, this fill uh, tool. So I'll put raster. So raster data set okay here. I no longer also need this row digital elevation model because I have filled those things. So as you can see the lower value is 1973 and here the lowest value is 1975. This shows there are some things which are uh, filled. So I need to remove this one. I no longer need this one. So I start using field digital elevation model. The next step is the uh, flow direction. You I need to do flow direction. So we need to do flow direction. Go to uh, special analysis tools. Then hydrology. Then there is a flow direction. As you can see, there is a surface raster which is filled uh, distinguish model. So I need to uh, store here. Uh, here direction raster. Direction raster. Open it here. Dash. Save. Okay. As you can see, now it's processing. So finally, it was completed. So fill them no longer needed for our delimitation. So I will stop removing here. So the final one is flow accumulation. As you can see, the other one is flow accumulation. On the same tool set, there is a flow accumulation. To box there is same accumulation raster here direction raster is the input so uh, accumulation raster i need to select accumulation raster folder so open new folder accumulation accumulation here give it a name save okay optional that's why i left as it is if you notice know it's because a raster data type so okay I don't need to remove this from the layers, so this is finally the direction raster. This is a question raster that is. As you can see, uh, this one is far from the river. This is a river. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, I, I, I need to calculate this. 46 meter remember from Google Earth. It is from here to here, it is 46 meter. I have to uh, move this uh, outlet point measure here to the center line of the river. So click this one. As you can see, it is moving 45. As you can see, it's 100 here. So 46. Uh, edit start edit no, 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 no problem I've already exchanged okay so edit we need to move uh, this upper point out to the center of the river between the glass distance so uh, This is the final outlet, so I have adjusted, so I need to stop this editing. So, so editing, yes, this is the final uh, watershed for me. So uh, I have adjusted in such a way. So I need to increase the size. Yeah, this is the outlet, so it's so visible. So after knowing this outlet. 
it is not uh, here, we want thing you need to you understand is if it's not uh, reverse are not visible, you can uh, here right click, you can uh, uh, you can classify here, you can classify into section, so that smaller string can be uh, shown. So here, already this one to five thousand streams uh, minor streams will appear so as you can see minor streams are up, up, appear here okay as you can see yeah more streams are already added what about if uh, I make this one 500 as you can see you can see apply yeah, smaller streams are uh, added, so it becomes visible, as you can see. So in such a way, if uh, smaller streams are not uh, visible, you can uh, adjust by using so that uh, in such a way so that all the small streams can be uh, visible in such a way. So uh, the other is we have just adjusted this pull point data. I have prepared pull points, so uh, finally uh, we uh, need to do a deletion. So uh, I go to the same toolbox and uh, so I go to hydrology tools yes. so there is hydrology tool so open this one and click to open yes yeah, same as before so there is a direction raster needed here so add here and drop it so input raster or feature pro point data you can just add this one pro point so no problem so finally uh, I can uh, delete the show. So what is it? What? So this is a raster, so okay. As you can see, this is uh, the watershed. This is the watershed, so uh, I need to convert so that I need to calculate the area of this watershed. So it will be nice if I change this raster to a polygon. For other purposes, also, I, I need to prepare polygon. So I need to convert this one, this raster to polygon. So there is a conversion tool from raster to polygon. This is, yeah, on it. Drag and drop here value yeah so optional so so the same saving folder axi sorry axi river watershed uh polygon polygon so okay as you can see yeah this is my watershed so I can calculate I can uh, the area of this watershed. So the action raster no, no longer needed because our target is to delete the watershed for accumulation as well. No need if raster also no need here. This one can be uh I dot and the color can be red. So I can calculate the area of not reachable in such a way by adding a field here. So I only got to this one, come close, here are the field, area, type area here, double, uh, make it a double here, the data type, so position, uh, you can go up to 5, scale 5, okay, so you right click here, cut with geometry, yes, scale kilometer mostly, uh, no, here are 16 kilometers, so okay, Yes, as you can see, uh, the watershed, this watershed uh, area is 40.27 km square. So, as you can see, uh, we can export this to KML file in order to see on Google Earth. So, in order to do that, uh, here also to KML, you can convert this polygon to KML file. So, uh, drop this layer. So output file can be located here. Axi. 
save as you can see the extension will be also put it here then you say ok save save so click here ok as you can see uh, it's already totally converted to kml so i can view on uh, googlers so open googlers here file open Axi River Open There is water here Here Open Now you can view the extent of this water sheet So the line color can be uh, red Okay The thickness Okay, to make two the watershed, so you see the river. Slightly, we have deviated from the mainstream, so I can still we can still uh, increase. So, but this is as you can see, the watershed is so uh, narrow wherever you increase uh, here the area increment is so uh, small so it can be uh, like this one like this one if the outlet can be like here it can be uh, in such a way so the area increment will be so small so no, no, no need to worry but if the area uh, will be significantly uh, uh, high you can adjust uh, again outlet and do uh, redo the watershed definition so